yeah, I'm hop on this wave right quick because it is rather interesting. Um, and you know, shoot, people are talking about this. Uh, Nicole Ari Parker is married to this gentleman. They're the bottom couple married to the gentleman. Um, I think his name is Boris, whatever the hell it is. I know it's not American either way, <laughs> either ways. She, uh, is feeling some kind of way within their marriage. And I just want to really, you know, I was in a long-term relationship guys for about seven years. We lived together, did all this stuff, all the motions that are going on right now. I feel a bit of, uh, perspective can be added to this. So without further ado, let's get into it. You know, I sh that he was my boyfriend again. I don't necessarily want to be single. But I miss the single life. I miss the text messages for no reason. Mm. She misses being desired. She misses being wanted in life. But here's the thing, guys. When you've been with somebody for a while, you get to know them. You get to know their patterns. You get to see who they are and how they are. And if that, if, 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 you know, we've been through a bunch of fights and we argue a lot and, or, you know, like there's a, um, there's just like, you know, a lot that has gone on that will kind of zap that desirable energy out of old boy. Then, you know, it, it's, it happens. It really does. I, I miss the coming up from behind me when I'm scrambling eggs and just kissing me on the back of the neck. Like, I still that do that, Boris. I still do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so? <laughs> what? what that what that gotta do with me? Um, okay, like yo, first and foremost, look at your wife. Yeah, I'd still be doing that too. He over here with <laughs> Miss Parker, who um, you know, I, I don't think that this comes up in this video, but like you know, that there's a lot of people sitting there saying, Oh, well, she wants to be single again and everything. Don't do it, darling. Don't do it. You you're never catching it. That that's the best you can do, darling. <laughs> That is literally the best you can do. <laughs> but you just like, yeah, okay. Like, th guys, you have to respect the next man's autonomy. You really do. You can't say, well, I do that for my wife. Like, bruh, so who can't? Like, yo, A, your wife is bad. B, <laughs> B, your wife ain't say to you what, your, what my wife said to me. We ain't got the same history going on over here. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, in, or in his words, okay. <laughs> That's funny as shit. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm being, um, uh, you know, general, general here, but yes. I'm just saying that the the trappings. There's, a difference. there's definitely a difference. There's the trappings of being single. Like, okay, you two are really. She, she's like, oh, there's this trap, the trappings of being single. Yeah, having a whole bunch of dudes trying to smash, and that's literally all that there is. That's all that's out here for you, darling. Just, just hard, hard meat, and uh, <laughs> you are not top notch anymore. This ain't 19, this ain't, we ain't in the middle of the 90s anymore, sweetie. That, what what you got going on with your hair game right now is just bonkers. <laughs> like, it really is. Like, you are way past the wall. Do they have kids? I don't know. I don't know at all, but that that's really funny. Good looking people, okay? And you're married. And, and, and we're married. There's people that flirt with you. And the part of the flirtation doesn't make you necessarily go the wayward. <laughs> You know. So that's the thing. And she's like, oh, there's people that flirt with you. And, you know, yeah, 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 there always will be like, but it's like not about who will flirt with you, because as far when it comes to smashing and like, yeah, shoot, if Nicole Ari Parker was in front of me right now, would I flirt? Of course I'd flirt. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a gentleman. Everybody considers my just uh, affable being uh, flirting in many respects. But <laughs> the deal is that what I crush her. More than likely, but would I even pretend like I could afford to maintain her? Hell no. So how about you stick it out with the gentleman that can't afford to maintain you? But there's also another, um, another clip that's going around that I find endlessly hilarious. The other stuff. So hold on. So like, <laughs> let's just get into it. 
when you have that emotional intimacy, the other stuff comes like that, like automatically. Right. It's just when you're not, it's, it's true. when I'm not present, you know, when I'm not present emotionally, there's something missing. Right. Yeah. If I don't meet her in the middle, if I don't. So basically, after she did something that irritated the hell out of you and you're just like, Ugh, but you're not, you know, go file, go file uh, 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 for divorce. Uh, you're just like, eh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a little bit of space because you've, you've pissed me off. He's like, yo, like I kind of did it. And you actually, that's like better. Like it's, it, it is part of just like, you know, being able, but that's a part of masculinity right there. Being able to just like, yo, just kind of emotionally dead yourself after she does something because it <laughs> happens a lot within the course of a relationship where she'll do something that's very hurtful, something that's very like, it just cuts you at your core and you're like, yeah, you care about her, you love her. But at the same time, it's like, yo, you, you, like what you did was really jacked up. And now, and this goes both ways it, it, it tends to go both ways it's all a matter of you know um people and that thing that i hate so much emotions and feelings instead of rationale but you know emotions are a real thing i don't pretend like they aren't and when you get hurt yeah you, yeah you shut yourself off a little bit oh well mm -hmm. uh it's not gonna happen can i get right. a piece of advice for the men folk that's yes. kind of killer you know what would literally get you guys like <laughs> chris <laughs> like you would be pleasured constantly if you prostitutes hookers staying single not even bothering like it would just like you know i mean shoot you like the flirtation right you want to be out there in the streets right so <laughs> trust me there's tons of females just like you out here in these streets smashing the first thing that flirt with them so <laughs> let's not sit here and pretend like yo you're about to sit here and just do uh, uh give some uh, uh, uh honestly what she's about to say right here right now is one of the biggest cliches i've ever heard when it came to marriage right because i've, I've never jumped that bridge I, i've lived with chicks i've you know saying been, been in long-term relationships i just never jumped the marriage bridge but it really seems strange because like so as someone who's only dated i pretty much take it when i want it all right i don't play that i don't play that oh my goodness i don't want to do it stuff in um <laughs> within the course of a relationship it's like yo no we getting down like right now there's really not much option in this but that's that was me and her relationship you know what I'm saying those are the types of relationships i have those, those the, the woman in a relationship with me knows that that's the way that that goes down it regardless of how i'm feeling i might need to work out some frustration on you let's get physical but in the best way possible <laughs> as opposed to oh well i'm not gonna i'm, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and and, and I'm, I'm upset with you so i'm not going to want to interact with you it happens it it's happened to me tons of times but more often than not, like, yeah, like when it comes to the physicality of it, shoot, I, I don't know about you guys and your relationships within the course of mine, though. I, yeah, I am the one ringing that bell and it is to be rung back. I'm not, I don't play that bullshit. Who would self-generate the deep conversations? Like when, if, if Vanessa has to come out to the garage slash man cave slash comedy central magic that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> So funny, oh, you fake ass people. Here's the deal. Hey, what she means is uh just come and talk to her. Like, oh yeah, I want you to come to me. Problem with that, Miss Parker, is that you wait, you didn't take his last name. Mm, mm, mm. But either way, a uh, problem with that, Miss Parker, is that you're the one in like I don't I can't speak for every relationship, but I can damn sure speak for the ones that I've been in. And you know, you're the one being irrational right now. You're the one really going nuts with the emotions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave. When I come back, you come to me. And no 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 no. There is no oh me come to you when you the one that's been tripping. Nah, sweetheart. <laughs> you're the one that comes back to me. I'm leaving because you are being irrational and I don't want to have no problems, nothing like that. Go take a drive, go shoot some hoops, go do whatever, come on back. And by the time I get back, you come to me and you apologize because you were in the wrong. That but that like I said, in that angle, I'm coming from a very I'm coming from my own perspective. And said, no, I really want to finish our conversation about blah, blah, blah. Do you realize that if you walked into Vanessa's magic woman cave. That you more than likely would get hit with something because I don't want to talk to you right now. And she can be rather violent. Right? Right or wrong. Like, if, 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 if it's like dealing with any kind of, you know, a, 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 
a boxed in cat, particularly if you have her logically like, you know, saying locked in. Oh, she don't want to talk to you. Is she going to spaz? She going to keep tripping. Nah, I don't want to keep talking until, you know, once again, just leave my guy. Then come back and she'll come and she'll walk in all soaking around like, hey, what up? Did you get me something from the store? <laughs> like that shit. <laughs> Yo, terrible advice. And said, I want to finish our conversation that we had earlier. You will literally just be sitting back and getting the pants pulled down. Right. It would be every three days. <laughs> oh, God, Christ. No, 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 no. She's sitting there screaming like, Yo, like, wow, the soccer mom energy is just like too strong in this one. And what is with this forehead, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you might be getting some sloppy top, but you sit there just smack on the top of the forehead. Because <laughs> that shit is nuts. You know? Oh, man, we're done here. All the internet stuff, guys. If you like to toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and want to get videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch shooting like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know what do you guys think in the comments. Does, is marriage seeming worth it? Like, marriage seems worth it for the top situation because, like, yeah, but <laughs> for the bottom situation. <laughs> Like, yeah, does, does it really seem like, you know, something you want to put? Because, yeah, like, honestly, she's always had crazy in her eyes and she's out there in Hollywood, you know, and those Hollywoodos, you know how they get down. I really don't even know the top couple. Like, I know I've seen both of uh, the bottom couple in movies and stuff, but hold on. Chris Spencer, who's Chris Spencer? So I assume that Chris Spencer is the dude, is the, is the other dude there. And that's his wife. Good, well, good job on you, Chris. But yeah, y'all in two different worlds. He was like, I'll do that to my wife. He was like, okay. <laughs> that was awesome. That really was. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments, all right? And until the next one.